We're at the end of October, getting close to the 1st of November, and of course that means that we've reached the average first frost dates for many parts of Oklahoma. Those first light frosts that we get at this time of the year can be potentially dangerous if our cattle are grazing some of the sorghum type plants. Any of the forage sorghums, even a, a, a milo, a stubble field that uh, we might have turned some cattle out on. And the potential danger comes from the accumulation of what we call prussic acid. And this is particularly a concern of grazing cattle uh, when we have these light frosts because the frost causes some plant stress. And that stress then results in the accumulation of the, the prussic acid. When we have that frost, sometimes followed by some nice warm days, then we may get some regrowth coming up, suckering out uh, from the lower parts of those plants, and that too is potentially dangerous for prussic acid. Prussic acid poisoning is a situation where the blood of the animal can take up oxygen as it passes by the lungs, but due to the presence of that particular compound, the blood cannot dispense the oxygen into the tissues. And therefore the animal will act, first of all, like they're being asphyxiated or they can't get their breath, and quite frankly, will probably go down and succumb to the prussic acid poisoning very, very quickly. I think the best way to go about preventing prussic acid poisoning at this time of the year is first of all, stay off of these forage sorghum type fields, if at all possible, until after we've had a hard killing freeze. Then we have the, the, a much better chance of the prussic acid, which is in the gas, which is in the form of a gas inside the cell walls of the plant, those cell walls breaking down and allowing the gas to escape. Certainly, if we see any kind of indication of an animal showing these symptoms while they're grazing those kinds of fields, we need to get the rest of those cattle off of that as quickly as possible. We hope this helps you understand some of the management procedures that you need to keep in mind if you're going to graze cattle on any kind of sorghum field this fall during the time when we might have some of these uh, frost events taking place. And I encourage you to go to the SUNUP website, that's sunup.okstate.edu, and there we'll have under show links a link to a fact sheet that uh, will tell you a lot more about prussic acid poisoning and the, the possibilities of that happening here in Oklahoma with livestock. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SUNUP's Cow-Calf Corner. <music>